Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away So when I'm morning everyone from me and my bed hair um literally woke up um about an hour ago and i've literally been just editing constantly um i've got so much content that i just want to get up and out and all scheduled before the disc deadline starts looming like i literally have two weeks today until my dissertation is due in so this is crunch time and I feel like I've just been really into making like main channel videos at the minute. Like I've really just been enjoying filming and it sucks because I haven't had my camera but it's coming back today. I got it all repaired. I had to pay £130 for repair which was stupid. Um, and now it's it's on its way back to me today and it should be here. I don't know whether it's going to be the morning or the evening but I just thought I'd start the vlog on my phone. Tell you guys what I'm up to today but yeah I'm just basically editing everything this morning and then I can focus on my uni work try and finish off my dissertation discussion section. I just keep like tweaking bits and I'm not like overly happy with it, but I feel like I just want to get some feedback on it and then I can like make it a lot better. Um, so yeah, I just want to get that, the end of that bit done and then start working on my feedback later on today. I've got one lecture at four, t one lecture four till five. And then I'm also recording for a girl's podcast at three. She's doing a podcast about the effects of social media on mental health. And I thought, why not help her out like I got, she emailed me last week and this is the only time I've really got to fit it in so I don't like letting people down as you know so that's what I'm doing <laughs> this is me being really happy because I got my camera back you can probably tell because the quality is like a million times better but yeah it's just come back this morning just made myself some pasta to eat because it's like gone midday I've got all the stuff that I wanted to edit it and now I'm just about to head off. I'm just going to choose my outfit and I'm going to head to uni. I'm filming for a girl's podcast talking about the effects of um, social media on mental health. So if I can film something in there, I will. But I don't know if it's like um, confidential and, you know, because it, I think it might be for like what a main project at uni and I don't want her to get like plagiarised or anything. So, um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, and then I think I'm going to head to the library straight after, do some work for a couple of hours and yeah see how it goes from there because i definitely need to get some disc work done today <laughs> i'm actually in a full charity shop outfit i haven't shown these yet because i didn't vlog at the weekend when i was with my boyfriend but we went around the charity shops and in all the vintage shops in lincoln and i picked out two things and i decided to wear them both today because i just thought it's cute and i feel like i've got like a little obsession with like baby blue duck egg blue at the minute so um i found a carhartt t-shirt in scope um, which is a charity shop and this was £2.50 these usually retail at £40 and it's literally brand new there's like no marks on it at all and I just love it I think it's very perfect for spring summer so I had to pick it up £2.50 was like such a bargain and then I got some Levi's jeans which were £22 which I thought was amazing because they're usually like 70 plus I think and these are the 501s I believe of just um I'm just going to tuck this in. I've hairband the back of the top to make it like a little bit more cropped and tighter. Um, but yeah, they're the Levi's 501s. And I just feel like they're really flattering. Like, I think they just they just make me feel confident, especially around the bum area. Um, and I, I just love light wash blue jeans. They're like my favourite um, to wear. However, they are so long. They're a 36 leg. Um, and I'm definitely not a 36, like 34 at a push. So I think I'm actually going to cut these. At the minute I've just rolled them up because I haven't got the facilities to <laughs> cut it. But because I think I, I would prefer a raw hem. But at the minute I'm just going to roll them up. I know they look a little bit stupid on me but I still love them. So yeah, I'm just going to head out now and go and record the podcast. <laughs> I've just been to do the first year's podcast. It was actually really fun. It was really nice to meet them all and everything. And we like just chatted about like the negative effects of social media and um, the negative effects 
on mental health at university and things like that. So yeah, it was really interesting, a nice little topic of conversation and something to spread awareness about. Um, and now I'm in the library on my own. This is one of my favorite little spots in the library. And I am just writing my dissertation. I'm looking at some resources. Um, this is the particular paper I'm reading at the minute. It's called, oh God, I'm gonna get to the top. It's called The Effect of Childbearing on Filipino work, Women's Work Hours and Earnings. So I'm currently trying to link this paper to my like discussion and results on the online survey and how gender pay gap exists. Um, so yeah, I'm just currently just reading through this paper again and um, trying to find a good link that I can correlate with my, my data, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not very good at explaining stuff, I'm sorry. So I've just been and um, posted a parcel. I'm um, just going to go toilet, I think, because <laughs> I am desperate. And oh, I thought the doors weren't working then. Um, but I've heard so much like rumours and stuff about coronavirus today. Um, I have no idea what's happening. Apparently, they're closing the high street stores tomorrow. But I don't know if that's bullshit because you know when everyone starts chatting about stuff, it gets all blown out of proportion. And um, by now, Ireland have closed all their schools today. Apparently, the uni are considering closing. I have no idea. I know some unis have already started closing. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to see what goes on. But I'm gonna go um, go toilet. <laughs> then I'm gonna meet Carrie in town, I think, after she finishes work. I'm gonna go back to hers. And it's very windy. <laughs> and everyone is judging me when I vlog here. Like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> Hiya! <Right. laughs> so I, after I went to the library, I did some um, of my like shitty disc stuff, like the appendices and like all the bits at the end, like the really boring stuff. Um, and then I met up with Carrie, went for a drink, and oh, now... How did I get that so oh, I just said you should have folded it over. Like, <laughs> We're DIYing. Wait, what thing, Sprant? I Sprant. I Sprant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, should we do something cool, like angled? Do you know what I mean? Like going up in the middle or something? No. We don't want to walk like a little like slip. Do you want no, to... thank you. <laughs> I've got a slip. Pair of jeans. <laughs> I've got, what? I've got my hand slipped. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, Carrie's basically cutting my jeans for me. Um, yeah, we got, I got these the other day from Fab Vintage. It's next to the Tattooed Arms, if anyone's from Lincoln. And they always have really good stuff in there for cheap. And I got these for £22. And they were so long. Yeah, they're the 501s. Handmade. Handmade. I want like a raw hem, so that's what Carrie is achieving for me. I can't believe how short they look. You are right. They literally They're getting... look like shorts. <laughs> They're like three quarter things. Surely everyone else's jeans look like that when they're lying down there, right? No, no, no. Really? I'm a lot bigger than that. <laughs> that is the first time I've seen something like that. Maybe I just have the smallest legs known to man then. Right, pop them Do on. I? Pop them on. Okay. I would like to film you. Please. Oh, Yay. Hello. Perfect. Can you get these out? Yeah, we'll just attack them. What's they're wrong or? They look fairly straight. I kind of think it doesn't need to be too straight yeah, because. Are your legs together? Turn around, like from the back and stuff. No. We need to check they're okay. No. Put your bum away. <laughs> turn. Can you turn around? No. What do you mean? Just stay normal. Just like a normal person, just stand normal. I don't think that's too bad. No, it's not too bad. Like, I mean, it's not like identical, but like, it, it looks like it goes up a tiny bit here. This bit looks, yeah. But then so does it on that. I don't know, if we make it I really think raw, it, I think it, it'll be okay. Yeah. Right, so, we're now upstairs. Got my little child down here. Following on from what I was saying earlier when I was out after the post office, basically, I don't know if any of you guys know, but me and Carrie are heading to Amsterdam, or were, were I, don't, I don't really know what's going on, at the beginning of April. And with all this coronavirus stuff, I have no idea what's gonna happen. We're assuming that everything's gonna get closed and we're not gonna be able to travel to different countries, so I'm not sure if that's going ahead. So today has been depressing because um, obviously we've started to like, think about prepping and everything for it and I, we just don't think it's likely that it's going to go ahead which is so sad because we've been wanting this holiday for ages haven't we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. sad times Carrie's just doing something really exciting over there stay tuned what is going on here 
do you mean? I've got black eye because my mascara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're she nasty. Yeah. I hate but COVID-19. I love you. Have a great day. Ew. <laughs> Right, so I am just about to leave to go to Cafe Nero. It's Friday afternoon, by the way. Um, I've just been filming this morning again, just getting stuff done. But yeah, so I've been like dedicating my mornings to like filming and editing, and now I'm going to Cafe Nero, hoping to finish my desk off so I can send off the rest of my stuff to my disc supervisor to mark for me. And yeah, I'm in a lilac mood today. <laughs> I've got my new lilac puffer from Boohoo. Um, this sweat is also from Boohoo. Um, which is also a lilac and then the Levi jeans that um, Hat and Carrie were sorting out for me yesterday this is how they turned out I actually really like them they're sort of like just a little bit wide leg um, well, like straight leg I guess um, and yeah let's go oh by the way you can get 25% off Boohoo with my code it's just Queen72 I'll leave a link down below um, so you can go through there so I am now back home from Cafe Nero just did some work with Neve, Charlotte and Hat we were just sat in Cafe Nero, did lo um, some dissertation work. I've got my 200 words done for the day, but I'm going to keep going, I think. Come back just because Hat wanted to make some lunch. And yeah, I'm just going to sit in bed, carry on doing my research and writing my diss. I'm actually really enjoying it at the minute. Like, I'm at a good point where I'm, like, really thoroughly, like, getting there to the end. So I'm just like, it's just the last little bit. Also, I wanted to quickly mention a lovely girl um, messaged me on Instagram today. It's um, telling me about this app and this isn't sponsored obviously like this girl literally just told me just out of the kindness of her heart it's called unitasker um i'll pop it on the screen and i'll also pop my referral code in case anyone wants to download it because you literally get two pounds credit for free and on this um app i think it's some of it is only available um, for people in like bigger cities, but they're making it more nationwide. So Lincoln's not specifically on part of the task bit yet, but you can do social media tasks. So YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, like if you've got over 500 Instagram followers, you can like do Instagram tasks. There's like other things like just watching people's videos, commenting on people's videos and things like that. And just like really simple tasks and you get money. And I just thought it'd be a really nice thing to share because it's for like uni students who are obviously struggling with money. And for me right now, my finances are not the, the best. So I'm like trying to do everything I can to earn a little bit of money um, whilst I'm um, writing my desk and stressing out. <laughs> so if any of you guys want to download it, you can literally get two pounds for free. So I'm just in hobby craft with Carrie. We did get about this for like what? And then we were looking yeah. for like stuff like that. Happened. Yeah, so I've just filmed like part of my Fabletics haul. Um, half my order was wrong, so I had a problem with that. So I ended up coming out. I've got my gym stuff on. It's, this is like my favourite set that I got from them. And then I've got my new lilac puffer on. Um, and we're hoping to go to the gym later. I don't know if we're going to make it because we've walked all the way to Hobbycraft. <laughs> we're just having a browse for a secret project <laughs> that might be to do with me, might be to do with Carrie, you'll never know. Gossip girl. I was actually going to end my vlog last night, but I just thought I would include half of today just because I'm actually working for the uni today. I'm doing an Instagram take, well, it's essentially a Facebook stories takeover with an Instagram stories takeover. Um, I think obviously the Facebook stories are like par parent like directed and then the Instagram's obviously like prospective student orientated. It's actually an applicant day today. So I'm gonna be showing you around the campus, um, some of the accommodations, and then I'm going to like loads of the talks. So I'm gonna try and vlog some bits as well um, in between obviously, cause I am gonna be working like and doing stuff for their social media, um, which is like a paid job today but um, I thought I'd take the vlog camera as well just whilst I'm doing this. I'm doing it from half nine till three, so yeah. Just at uni now, I'm on my way to the Isaac Newton building, which is where I'm starting my day. Um, it's this building here, it's actually like, sort of like the engineering sci slash science lecture building. And this is where loads of the welcome talks usually start because I think it's our biggest lecture theatre. Um, and there's like breakfast and everything in there as well. So I'm very excited to go in, have my little brief and then get started. There are literal like signposts everywhere around today. There's you there there are usual signposts that are always up, but I think they've like popped up extra signs just to help everyone navigate themselves around the uni easily. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited because I've never like worked for the social media team for a day. I've done applicant days and open days with my course, like forensic science, and like taking around prospective forensic science students. But this will be fun, I think, because social media is my jam. <laughs>
I've got my schedule for the day here. There's literally like so many people around because everyone's here for the applicant day. Um, but I've just been in to do the little welcome in the Isaac Newton, Newton, Newton Building's atrium. They've got like all the stands in there for like accommodation talks, um, student wellbeing, fees and funding, admissions. There's a Friends for Life stand, which I didn't even know about. And it's like a thing where Lincoln hooks people up before uni so they can get to know their flatmates and course mates um, before you even like start which is great because I think one of the biggest worries for everyone is like making friends I thought that was a really cool idea um sorry if my camera is like picking up loads of wind but I'm just now walking around and getting shots of um all the different buildings because I'm linking them all because there's like course specific stories as well so yeah I'm trying to get some promo for all the different courses so I'm off to um David Chiddick at the minute to talk about the um business course which is cool um, and everyone is literally staring at me like everyone's just ev everywhere with their parents and I'm just getting the weirdest stares um, but fair enough it does look a bit weird me talking to a camera so especially when I'm on my own doing this as well so early like it's literally 10 o'clock when am I ever like alive with makeup on walking around the uni at 10 o'clock literally never so I think this is what I need to do more like I need to just wake up early put some makeup on and it's actually really refreshing because usually there's barely anyone here but obviously there is loads of people because of the applicant day um but it's just really refreshing I don't know like just the cold air and just being up early it makes me feel a lot more productive although I know I'm gonna say this and continue to do work in the evening like I always do because that's what works best for me now just having a little wander around uni I'm doing more of the campus tour stuff now because I have like an extra hour to kill before my first talk that I have to go in um, but yeah I've just been into the student accommodation I've just seen um, Viking House which is like one of the relatively new accommodations at Lincoln and it's unreal like I'm actually so shocked <laughs> at how nice it is um, the communal area is sensational massive kitchen area <laughs> and I'm jealous I'm back in the home turf I feel I'm just walking through student village court 16 represent that's where I was in first year um, now just heading over I'm gonna go photograph the sports center I also had like a really strange encounter at the accommodation like <laughs> um, some guy was so rude to me <laughs> but I was like I'm literally here to work and film for the uni so please stop being rude to me I'm actually employed <laughs> um, I think he thought I was just being weird and like taking photos um, for no reason but I, I was like I have a purpose and he still was being rude and I was like oh I don't know what to do <laughs> really cold today though like I feel like it's just gone back temperature wise and I'll tell you something else I do not miss that that's where the laundry service is the Lincoln courts and it was hell let me tell you <laughs> yeah I literally had to pay four pounds just to wash and dry some clothes which is awful I think my favorite thing about moving into a house like a student house rather than the accommodation was definitely the fact that I had a washing machine <laughs> because it meant I didn't have to pay and take out a mortgage to wash my clothes and dry them <laughs> So I've had a very eventful day. It's been super eventful. I'm feeling very tired and a little bit um, sensitive. And naturally, I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm not actually going to bed. It's cozy, okay? <laughs> but I've got this massive parcel down here that I'm gonna quickly show you before I end today's vlog. I'm gonna sit here and just literally smash up my dissertation for the rest of the day. It's just gone half three. So I've been working since half nine, so I've done like a little six hour shift. Um, not your average job, I know, but um, I feel like I've got in loads of steps because I've literally been walking around the like circles of the campus. Um, I'm actually intrigued now. I'm going to see how many steps I've done. 15,000 steps? Wasn't about that. Was not expecting that. Um, so yeah, I've done, my, <laughs> I've done my, more than my daily, the average daily step thing that you should do because I think it's, is it 10,000 steps you're supposed to do every day? I'm pretty sure it's 10. So yeah, buzzing about that. I'm going to quickly show you this parcel though before I um, say goodbye. This parcel came from Neon Sheep. Um, I'm really excited because you guys know how much I love Neon Sheep. Like, at Neon Sheep they do lots of like stationery, homeware, um, some clothing, like a, literally a little bit of everything and it's all so cute and like well designed and I went to a Neon Sheep Christmas event if some of you guys remember from the vlogs. Um, which was so fun and the team are really really nice so it's always nice to know that there's like a good team behind a brand I chose some bits that I really like from the website so I don't know if they've sent a couple of the items and some that they've picked or like what's gonna be in here so I 
I guess we'll see. So first of all, I've got a little lilac matte neon sheet water bottle. Um, I just feel like it's always handy to have a few of these around, like, because I'm always out and about taking some water. So I thought I can have one for the gym and then I've got another reusable water that I can take, like, when I go to uni. So I just have, like, um, two different um, bottles. I always find that if, like, I've left one, my that other water bottle in one bag, I forget to take it out. So I feel like having two is going to be really helpful <laughs> um, and make me not forget because I really, really want to, like, cut out any, like, single-use plastic, like, completely if I can so yeah really happy with this reusable bottles they have like so many different cool designs online there is like less stock available than in store so I definitely recommend if you're near a neon cheap store you go there because it's so fun to like look around and see everything there's so many sales on at the minute as well so I definitely recommend it um and then I've also whoa I was not expecting that um it's just i just wanted another notebook because you know it just looked quite cool so and i saw cool. amy got it so i was like i want this mm -hmm. and i did not expect it to be this thick like mm -hmm. it's eight pounds but it, i feel like that's definitely worth it for the amount of pages i've got in this i'm assuming it's like a 200 page yeah notebook that's really nice and the, really yeah, good. the spine's weird yeah the spine's cool. so cool um then i've got I can't believe they've sent all the items oh. I picked out. I was not expecting that. Oh, nice. Oh, yay. I was not expecting it to be this big That's as well. A good thing to pick. Yeah, I just thought this is fun. Like, I love a fake plant because I am too busy to actually water real ones. And just cute. I like the concrete. Like, it's really heavy. It's like a concrete grey. Um, I'm assuming it's not actual concrete. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this material is. I can't even think at, the, at this point because I'm so drained. And then, like, just like a mini fake, like, cactus style, succulent y thing. And then it's got like a little black stand. I just thought this would be cute like for a future, like my yeah, future home or flat or whatever I have. Stuff. Yeah, so cute. I got this, which I'm excited. I can just imagine this in like my future lounge. That's why I picked it. How weird. Um, this. <gasps> nice. Like, cause I really want like that, oh, nice. just some sort of nice velvet furniture. That's what I imagine. Like some yeah. sort of like cool colored furniture. Yeah. And I just thought green's is quite green. a good color. Nice little contrast. And then some nice like asymmetric gold. Yeah, that's nice patterns on like it's just really random that's what i mean but it's like so cool like and it saves me again like in the future when i'm buying like stuff for like a future house flat or whatever like it just things add up don't they so cute then i got these just because i thought this is cute and it's very me and they're like inspirational quote cards Oh nice. and like it comes with like a little easel sort of is it easel yeah. like the paint when you paint stuff and um, oh, like if you wanted oh, to like stand cool. it up if you wanted to stand it up in your room like different oh, ones and there's like loads of different oh the little postcards yeah so you can like stand them up <laughs> do it <laughs> cute what does this one say everything's peachy everything's peachy this one says live laugh love there's loads of different ones. I think, love it. think happy. That's a good I just, present. they're just cute, aren't they? Things are coming. But like, I like sticking these on my wall in my scrapbooks. Oh, like, like, there's loads everything. of different fun. Oh, I want to get one out just because I want to see them. Yeah, no, yeah, me too. Do what you love. They're just like fun, colourful ones yeah, as well. Like I again, you could just be like the decorate plane. the room. Some of these are like so simple, That's but if you actually idea. like deep it like they're actually yeah. really inspirational yeah. like i always find that like i used to be like oh quotes are so cringy i hate quotes mm. but like as i've grown up i like start like deeply look at, thinking about them and i'm like so true like say yes to new adventures like you know it seems so like just do it. yeah that's what i mean like just say yes <laughs> and then the last thing is just at the very like um practical it's three pounds as well a mobile phone car clip so then i can oh, like nice. if i'm traveling and need a yeah. sat nav i can actually just clip this onto like the little air vents they have yeah i always see people one. with these and i just never know where to get them and yeah. i was like oh my god that's perfect i think it was the first thing i saw and i was like that's practical yeah only three pounds well. Tick. does that yeah. work yeah. oh wow very happy with that from neon cheap thank you for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye, bye. you say bye as well bye <laughs>